Morning, guys, from here in Maspalomas. Here we are in Malaga Airport. In the city of Brussels, the capital. Welcome to the centre of Porto. Welcome to Marrakesh. So, very good morning, guys, from me here in Malaga Airport. And we've just checked in for our flight, and we're now waiting for our first flight of the day today, our short hop to Madrid. Now, the flight should take us about 45 minutes, won't take us very long. And it will be a little bit cooler in Madrid than what it is here. We're expecting it to be about 20 degrees. But yeah, it's around 8 o'clock in the morning. Terrible, terrible night's sleep in the, well, can't even call it a hotel or hostel. But as I say, we're going from one extreme to the other today. Today is the day of five-star living, so we're looking forward to that. But yeah, we're just sitting here waiting for the plane, heading off to Andorra. But first stop, the capital of Spain, Madrid. Come join me. I'll tell you what is surprising, how quiet it is here in Malaga Airport this morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning and there's just nobody about. It's the 2nd of May, it's a Thursday. I've just never seen it so quiet here, but there we go. Come on guys, let's keep going. Just had a little look on the internet and the temperature here in Malaga at eight o'clock in the morning it's around about 17 degrees and it's very comfortable, I'm very comfortable in my jumper. I've just checked the weather for Madrid where we're going our first stop today and the weather there is 5 degrees. Now I didn't expect Madrid to be so cold, it was forecasting Madrid to be around about 20 degrees today but I think it's going to be much cooler when we get there so come on, let's go and find our gate now and jump on the plane. And finally it's time for boarding. So there is a slight delay on our flight to Madrid today, I think only by 20 minutes or so. The plane is here behind us, has just landed, Jesus, someone's got COVID over there. But yeah, just wait for everyone to get off the plane or we're about to jump on, so come on. So here we are guys, as we make our way down to the plane. So it doesn't look like we're as delayed as planned, we're here at the gate, we're just waiting to get on the plane now, so guys, I guess I'll see you in Madrid. Get through the tunnel and it's time to take our seats. So there we are guys, we've made it onto the flight. She's just saying it's going to take 50 minutes for us to get from here up to Madrid. So come on guys, let's take off now. So we are choosing plane over train today and the only reason for that is price. This flight, well, it cost me about 18 euros. And the high speed train for this day was about 45 euros. So for me, it was a no brainer, even with the accommodation costs factored in. But here we are, we're taking off from Malaga Airport now. We're going to head over the mountains and head towards Madrid. So the flight should be about 50 minutes or so, which is good because I much prefer shorter flights. I'm not a big fan of flying for a very long time. We've got some stunning views over central Spain today as we're coming into Madrid Airport. This is us landing. Wasn't the smoothest landing, but here we go. It was only a very small plane. But here we are, we're in Madrid. We're taxiing in and we can't wait to get off. So here we are, we're just waiting for everyone else to get off. And this woman very politely asked me, not to film. So you kind of forget how big Madrid Airport is. And we are trying to find our way to the metro station. So I think that's the quickest way for us to get into the city centre. We're following signs to the metro. And yeah, pretty chilly here. It's only about eight degrees, but it should warm up in the next hour or two. So come on, let's go. You have to remember Madrid Airport is just like Heathrow in London. It takes ages to get anywhere. We make it into the centre 38 minutes later. So guys, we're here in Puerto del Sol and we finally made it. And I've got to say, the Madrid Metro is a little bit of a complicated system. But we got here after three trains from the airport. We're here in Puerto del Sol. We've dropped our suitcases in a little Chinese shop around the corner, which only costs us a fiver a day to store. But now we're going to go and explore Spain's capital. So come join me, guys. So the temperature has increased a little bit, up to 12 degrees. So we've arrived here at Plaza Mayor. This is one of the main squares here in Madrid. 
just behind us. We're going to go and check it out. We've got to ignore the scaffolding. But yeah, come on guys, because there's a car behind us. So here we are as we make our way into one of Spain's most iconic squares, Plaza Mayor. And it's absolutely beautiful day here, although a little bit chilly. We can still see all the tourists out in force. Now I can see there's a bit of an argument going on about over tourism in Spain. And I did see that in Madrid. So here we are guys, we are here in Plaza Mayor and wow, what a surprise, it must have been eight or nine years since I've been here in this square and it's absolutely fantastic. The place is absolutely crammed with tourists, there's so much life to Madrid and I, I'm not someone who comes to Madrid very often. Most people ask the question, what's your favourite city in Spain, Barcelona or Madrid? And I will always choose Barcelona because I spent such a long time there, I used to live there and maybe we're even going to visit Barcelona on this trip. We'll leave that for later on in the week, but for me, here in Plaza Mayor, let's go and see if we can find the Royal Palace, come on. So let's just pan around and take a look at the buildings and the tourists, and just as I'm filming, I'm spotted by a camera crew from Antenna Tres. We are from London, but we live in Gibraltar. Uh, because Charles uh, is paying for holidays. So yes, we've come to Madrid and then we're going to visit Barcelona as well. Everyone's just so happy, there's a more relaxed way of life, a life that we don't get in London, so it's completely different. But yeah, absolutely love Spain and Madrid, absolutely fantastic. A little bit cold this morning, but yeah, having a lovely time. Oh, this, this question is too big. This question really is too big. Oh, are you from Madrid, yes? <laughs> I have to be careful what I say then, yeah? Okay, uh, this is the best place in the world. Okay, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. So who would have thought it? We're walking around the square and that's it. I have been touted for Spanish national television. Of course I have. Have you seen my videos? But anyway, let's continue on to the Royal Palace, guys. Come on. So on the way to the palace, we do get sidetracked by discovering this food market, the market of San Miguel. Now let's have a look around and see what delights they are offering. And the food that I am seeing here is absolutely blowing my mind. The place is absolutely rammed with people. I would say it's about midday now. So yeah, you can see it's a mix of locals and tourists. So let's have a sneak around. It's moments like this, I wish I had more time, but Look at these empanadas, and of course my favourite thing here, not just the desserts, look at these beautiful macaroons, but we've also got lovely tuna, red tuna from Spain, so that's absolutely fantastic guys, but let's stop for a second. So we've stumbled across the market of San Miguel here. Absolutely fantastic, so many cool food places and wine places here. And in fact, I don't normally do this in a day, we'll stop for a little glass of sparkling, guys. So enjoy it, I promise we will find the Royal Palace. So let's head off, leave the market, and we have located our final attraction here, and this is Spain's Royal Palace. What a fantastic building. So here we are guys, we're outside the Royal Palace here in Madrid. This is the head of the monarchy here in Spain and this is the Royal Residence, the main residence, King Philip VI. And what a beautiful building it is guys, absolutely fantastic. But what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little look around the grounds here. We've got the Royal Cathedral behind us and maybe we're going to have a little sneak peek at the garden. But what a fantastic day, what a brilliant layover. If you've got a layover in Madrid, if you're going to and from Madrid and you've got a few hours, it's definitely worth it to leave the airport, come out and come and see the city. But come on, let's keep exploring. And let's look at this, guys. This is one incredibly large royal park here in the centre of Madrid. So I always seem to overlook Madrid, you know, when I come here. It's always in passing. I have spent a week here before, but I don't really feel I covered all the sites, so we're doing this four hours. It's an absolutely fantastic city, and I think on the channel we'll be back again soon. But come on, let's keep going, guys. So here we are, guys. I do believe this building is Madrid Town Hall, and it is such an impressive building. And this is going to be the last site 
we are seeing here in the city. So here we are from the old town square and we've got the town hall of Madrid just behind us. I think this is where we're going to wrap up the video actually guys. It's been a fantastic little layover but we need to run, get the bags, head to the airport and we're going to go to our, not our final destination on this trip but our main destination. We're going to head up to Andorra guys but from me here in Madrid it's been a beautiful surprise this city and I just wish I had more time here. But from me here in the centre of Madrid, I'll see you on the next adventure guys.